people ask me certain questions i'm like you're not reading it um and then on top of that you're reading it to your own interpretation where you should have just said even if you got two two grains of rice of faith you god i don't whoever you are i don't know can you open my mind and enlighten me and just just want to be enlightened if you want to and you really want to understand that text you want to understand people then he's gonna he's gonna open your eyes and you're gonna be like whoa what the heck just happened because the moment that i asked god to reveal it to me he did and it made a lot of sense when i was reading the bible from an ignorant mind from a, a childish mind from all this other stuff i was like okay and the enemy loves that because he's like oh yeah yeah you ain't gonna know you ain't gonna know you ain't gonna understand it you're gonna just go into your own interpretation and that's what a lot of a lot of us do but in the bible when i say it's about correction it's about how humans just do whatever the heck we want to do the, and, and, and honestly like because the the bible got some stories that you you know the reason why you got to read it because it's still happening today it's just it's crazy it's just the words is different because it's in a different time everybody has to understand that the bible is translated in different languages so everybody can read the bible the bible gets translated over because the language has changed right now can you tell me that the way you speak right now is the same way that your parents spoke how many years ago no the way you speak now your kids won't speak it in a couple of years from now so don't do that i like when people sit there and try to test it don't do that okay but y'all when i tell y'all it's about correction these people was living foul they was doing the same thing we is doing now you know what i'm saying god it's, it's a lot of things in the bible that god is telling you that's not right but you you don't want to hear it you don't want to hear it because you don't want to admit that you're wrong. And that stems from the time that you was a child. If you're wrong, that means that um it means that you're not a good a good person. That's the way we defile it. We make we make it seem like we're not a good person just because we make mistakes, because we're not perfect. No, you're wrong because we're worldly. We go off of what everybody else is doing. That's why they got that saying. Would you if you if your friends jump off the bridge, would you? You say no now, but you jump off the bridge every time. You see other people doing. You see your artist, the favorite rapper, the favorite artist. You see all of that, and you want to be like them. When you could be like yourself, but you don't know yourself because you don't know God. God created us all differently, uniquely different. Body, body, different body sizes, and um, I ain't talking about the ones that we just ate and ate, and we just gained our own weight. We manipulated in our own. I'm talking about the way from the time that we was child, the way he structured us, um, the way that he he made um, your eyes a little slanted, or he made your eyebrows a little bushy, but then you wanted to shave them off because you wanted to be like the girl that you saw at school. 